Before servicing the robot, don't forget to disconnect the AC power and turn off the DC power as well. In this video, we're going to show how to repair the situation where the wide area network cable has snapped out of the robot. What happens sometimes is that the RJ45 connector then falls back inside of the robot. First thing we do is remove the panel mounting flange. And then we have to retrieve the RJ45 connector from inside the robot. As it turns out, I've already removed the connector, but the cable is still there. And so now I've got the cable out. And the next step will be to reassemble this. So the problem with the RJ45 when it snaps out of the, the mounting flange is this retaining spring arm can sometimes be damaged. So we'll try reinserting it back into the shell. It can only go in one way. If you try to put it in backwards, it won't mount. So we try to snap it in. In this case, it snapped in nicely. But to verify that it's actually in place, using the 1.5 millimeter bit, we should be able to tuck it underneath like that from both sides. That'll help push it up into place. And then we can test and see if it stays in place. And if it does, we're ready to put the RJ45, this mounting flange, back in the robot. To reinstall the panel mounting flange, now with the correctly installed RJ45 connector, First thing is to snap the cable back in, make sure that it's firmly snapped in. Put this in place. We set the torque tool, the small one, to 6.68 .6 newton meters. Again, with the two millimeter bit, we install the screws with no Loctite. 